So there's been clear progress from you the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's been encouraging. Do you feel like you've gotten better? And would you attribute it to technique, confidence? What what has contributed to it, do you think? Um, you know, I think every week's a different week. You know, it's a different opponent, um, different game plan. So, you know, for me, it's just kind of going back to what I would say, fundamentals technique and, you know, working at it every single day, every practice. Um, you know, I think I just need to keep going in that direction, to be honest with you. Um, you know, getting extra work in, doing extra sets, just kind of getting used to, you know, the speed of the game, you know, continuing to improve and adapt. So, um, yeah, looking forward to this week. You know, it's a great team, great defense, and uh, I'm just excited to be out there. As someone who obviously was such a great college player, not allowing a sack, did it affect your confidence at all when you had, you know, struggles early on in your rookie NFL season? Um, I wouldn't say it was a confidence thing. It was more like maybe what I did in college isn't going to work in the NFL. You know, you kind of have to adapt if things aren't working or maybe change the things that you do, just kind of like everything else in life. Um, so for that, I was just kind of going to older guys like Jesse and kind of understanding how he plays the position, you know, and what's worked for him over the years. You know, he's a guy who's been in the league for a long time, and he's played multiple positions. So, you know, kind of going to those older guys who have more experience, kind of hearing how they block, you know, and what's worked. Did you do that with former Notre Dame players on different teams? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yep, reached out to uh, center for the Bears, Sam Musfer, and then the guard tackle, Alex Bars. Kind of talked to them. Those were, like, the two main guys. Sure. Yeah. Got to ask you about the change at Notre Dame. What's your reaction to the to the news, given the timing and all? Um, you know, N Notre Dame's a special place. Um, you know, it was an honor to have Coach Kelly as my coach. He's a great coach, great guy. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, change happens. And, I mean, there's definitely people who are going to be upset. Some are going to be happy. But, um, you know, I wish Coach Kelly the best. You know, he's did a lot for our program. You know, it was five years straight with 10 win season. Um, you know, I was I was fortunate uh, fortunate enough to be on two of those teams that went to the playoffs. So, um, you know, just kind of my best wishes to him and his family. You know. Any coaching just in your future? Ten year, ninety-five million dollar deals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I enjoy football a lot. You know, I love the game. So, you know, maybe one day. Would you have had an issue if you were still playing there, like being called for a 7 a.m. meeting after finding out and the like, speech lasting like two minutes or so? You know, I think, you know, me knowing Coach Kelly, he definitely would have wanted to tell it to everybody first. But as you know, things kind of get out. So, you know, knowing him and knowing the guy he is, he definitely would have told us beforehand. It's just kind of it was, it was a situation where, you know, it got leaked or it got out. So, um, I mean... I was just happy he went back and told him face to face. You know, a lot of respect to him. The, as far as the, the change you made and things you did in college to the NFL that you were just referencing, was it in technique and pass protection, run blocking, routine during the week? What what types of things? Yeah, I would say uh, mainly like routine during the week. Um, you know, going in there, getting massages, doing Pilates, you know, stretching more, stuff like that. You know, stuff that, you know, you, you just don't have time for in college, I guess you could say. You know, you have a full 15 credits, 18 credits at school. Um, so you have a little more time now, and you kind of have an opportunity to work on your body and improve from that aspect. But also, you know, watching more film and, you know, working more drills. So when do you have time for Pilates? Uh, I do Pilates every Tuesday. Okay. Get up in the morning, come in, Pilates, get a massage. Is it here? No. It is here. Yep. It's awesome. It's great. It's great. They bring somebody in to give you guys a Pilates session? They do. Yep. Wow. That's quite what? amazing. You're, what you're, stands out to you when you when you look, look at Leonard Williams? Right there. Huh? What's up? What's up? When, what stands out to you when, you when you watch Leonard Williams on film? I mean, he's a powerful, explosive guy. You know, he's strong. He's able to work the edge. He's quick, good hands. Um, you know, and that's why he's been successful for so long. So, you know, he's just a great player. I have a lot of respect for him and all those guys on the defensive line. So you, you're, 
you're a really mature, grounded guy, and it seems like you've been able to roll with the ebbs and flows, disappointments of the season. Was there a point at which where you, you got down on yourself at all, where you reached out to friends from Notre Dame or elsewhere in life or family, or was there never really a low point for you this year emotionally? You know, I, I think at the end of the day, you know, you have to believe in yourself. And once you stop believing in yourself is when, you know, things just keep going downhill and they don't stop. Um, you know, my brother and I, you know, my brother and I talk and he's at Ohio State and, you know, he went through some rough patches and so did I when I was younger, you know, at Notre Dame. And the biggest thing I told him is, you know, you, you have to believe in yourself. Even when guys, you know, aren't supporting you and nobody else is there, you got to believe in yourself. So for me, it's, you know, coming in every single day, you know, trying to improve and, you know, doing it for the guys in the offensive line room, you know, because you just can't give up, you know, life's tough, you know, football's tough. Um, you just got to keep working, you know. <laughs> is it with the reformer? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yep. So how many guys are doing? Are it's one at a time. One at oh, a time. One at a time. So yeah. how long does your session last? It's an hour. Yeah. All right. Um, I, I was just going to ask you about the uh, salaries for college coaches. What do you? I I, you have, I have no clue. No clue. I didn't even see what Brian Kelly's salary was. I have no clue. There are a lot of zeros and commas on those checks. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I really didn't pay attention much. 